little um, innuendos there how when I, I was. make the switch yeah. uh, from entertaining children to adults? You know, honestly, I didn't really make any kind of switch. Um, we did full on, we did matinees of this show uh, that you just saw for kids. Um, oh, okay. We marketed the show to kids this time around. Um, this is sort of a stupid thing that you're probably not going to believe, but I forgot that I had a real kid show in between doing the kid <laughs> show and, and write, rewriting this show that you just saw. Um, three quarters of the way through writing the show, we start with tickets went on sale, and we started getting calls, what's the age appropriate? Right. And I remember, and, and somebody pulled me aside and said to me, wow, you know, uh, you have a lot of kids here. And so I had to relook at the show. It was kind of late uh, to <laughs> change a lot of stuff. And the one thing I would have changed had I had more time and had I thought about it would have been um, the deep fat fryer. I probably would not have done a deep fat fryer. <laughs> Only, I mean, I, I didn't want to cut it because I love that whole sequence and, and I'm proud of it. And I thought it was really funny. And the second I thought of deep fat fryer and onion rings, I, I mean, it kind of wrote itself. Um, <laughs> But I didn't, um, but I would have, in, in another day, back when we were doing the original kid show, I would have said no to that right away. Uh, just because I thought it was like unsafe, number one, and number two, I, don't, I didn't want to really promote fried food for kids, you know? Um, but then I kind of thought, you know, enough time's gone by and it's, it's so close to opening. I, I removed a couple of things from the show. I removed, uh, we, this was the California production before New York, the original production before we were 100% sure we were going to go to New York. Um, Southern California, I guess all of California, as many of you probably know, we have the, you know, kind of borderline legal marijuana now. And so I had a, I had a marijuana sequence with right. the other uh, thing you might have known, whoever asked me that question, um, is the beatnik puppets were gone. And they were actually originally in the production, and they were—they had just been to the medical marijuana pharmacy. <laughs> and, uh, it was all set up to a heroin joke, which also got a little bit, uh, uh, which turned out to not be age appropriate. Um, uh, but to answer your uh, to answer your question. Um, the original show, I was very inspired by Rocky and Bullwinkle, amongst many, many other things, but that was the show for me that I saw as a kid and then saw again as an adult and went, wait a minute, I, is this the same show? And I just saw these things I didn't get the first time around. And I loved that. that I was obsessed with that at the time that I was creating uh, Pee Wee Herman and Pee Wee's Playhouse. And so it was a situation for me where I, did, I aspired to that. I really wanted to try to do a show. At the time my show came out, um, Sesame Street was already, had already been on for many years and certainly filled a, 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 a niche there that I felt like I'm, I'm not capable of that, plus I don't want to do that. So, and that's already taken care of. So I felt like I could do something for kids and be more um, just crazier and and wrap whatever lesson we were gonna try to teach or, or moral anything into kind of disguised in pure entertainment. So um, I just, uh, I feel like the original production of the Pee Wee Herman show that started at the Groundlings Theater, uh, again, it was it was a little, well, personally, I think the show got dirtier. I think, it's, I think this is a way dirtier production than I've ever done, and in fact, in, uh, in between Los Angeles and New York, I came up with the idea to do the eyes in the dark, which immediately I knew, like, okay, I can, I can put a lot of, like, kind of innuendo dirty material in here. So I was really excited about that. And, uh, but if you go back and look at the original The Pee Wee Herman Show, there's a lot of double entendre, and there is in The Kid Show also. I mean, it's, I don't feel like I really changed anything. Um, we just always try, we, I, by we I mean, my friends and people who wrote on the show were also my friends. We always tried to figure out what's that line, you know, where, where is it? Where is it too far to go? And really, for me, the 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 rule of thumb for me was what was a what would be an inappropriate question a kid could ask their parents after seeing the show. And um, <laughs> I did, I, as I mentioned, I did a Q and A. Uh, Recent, the two nights ago, and Judd Apatow, who is going to be the producer of the Pee Wee movie that is, we're writing right now, um, 
which I would give practically anything in the universe to tell you all right this minute what the plot of it yes. is. But I, I can't. I, I, honestly, I'm not, I'm not big boy. No, I said this the other night too in the audience. Like, I, I am like a kid with a secret. I have like the greatest, I have the greatest idea for a movie and Judd has signed off on it and it's about, I'm halfway through the second act with a, a co-writer named Paul Rust and uh, it's, it's so great. I'm like, I'm beside myself to tell you. I'm not kidding. I'm really like, I'm dying to tell somebody. Turn the other way and tell us a secret. And I can't. And if I could, I would. Um, uh, but wait, I digress. Cowboy Curtis isn't here. You can tell. <laughs> Cowboy Curtis isn't here. You can tell us. <laughs> I knew it. What? Judd and the kid. Oh yeah, Judd said, when I said, you know, my rule of thumb is basically like, it's got to be something a kid isn't going to ask an uncomfortable question to the parents, and he said, like, abstinence? <laughs> <laughs> I said, what do you mean? And I said, well, what? so explain abstinence any way you want to a kid. He said, I haven't even given my kids a sex talk yet, so how do I explain abstinence? Which, I don't know, I didn't think of that really. <laughs> <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have time for one more question. Who's got the best question? 